Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Man 25 online game. Today, we have the Indianapolis Colts and the Cincinnati Bengals. Of course, the Bengals are playing Thursday night tonight against the Dolphins, and they're trying to ride their momentum, have a pretty good win streak right now. Offense is playing good. Defense is playing good. The Dolphins, meanwhile, can't really say that much. They're on the opposite of a good run. They're on, like, a bad losing streak right now, and they're trying to turn around at home. And you see my opponent running the ball, Trent Richardson, early. And this man ate his Wheaties early. Look at him, just breaking tackles out there. But, um, yeah. The Colts, they're feeling good right now. They beat the Peyton Manning. Um, um, I was about to say Colts, just by habit. The Peyton Manning Broncos. And even though the Trent Richardson trade isn't really looking that smart in hindsight right now, they're still getting it done. Here, third down and five. Speaking of Richardson, he gets the wide or um halfback. I don't know what kind of screen it was, but he got a screen nonetheless, which I wasn't expecting. He got the first down. Next play, um, even though we got a pretty good um Cincinnati Bengals defense, we can make a tackle right now. And that's one of the like sneaky stats about me and Madden this year. I'm not really that good with the Bengals. They're easily one of the best teams in this game, especially when you got the read option with Josh Johnson and little Geo. And then the defense, you know, enough said, Bosch adds everywhere. But I don't know, I just can't make it work with this team this year. I'm hopefully going to try to turn around this time. And you see right away, third down in inches. After the last play, he rushed two. He rushes two again. And I already knew I was in for this game. You're going to rush two on third down in inches. It's going to be faggy all game, and that basically told me I have to come out running the ball. Here, somehow, a guy almost comes and knocks down Josh Johnson, but thankfully, we have the quarterback for this kind of defense, so there's any good quarterback, because Johnson's got the 88 speed, and I already know I'm going to be running the ball a lot in this game, because the passing isn't really going to be too open. As you see, even the screen game isn't really working that much, and um, Little Geo's playing like this. I'll take it. As much as Trevor Richardson is beasting unnecessarily, look at Little Geo, man, breaking tackles. I call him Little Geo, but he's playing like Big Geo right now. Right now, playing strong right now. Um, we're in the red zone here, trying to get into the end zone with Josh Johnson. Though he comes out man coverage here. What is like fag D two quarterback spies, all kind of stuff. So we decide we're gonna run a design quarterback draw here. Why not get some good yards here? Third down and one. Run, hurry up, but. When I try to step up in the pocket, Robert Mathis had none of it. He beat Whitworth, and unfortunately, the R3 offensive linemen in the middle were having coffee, which is what will happen. If you rush the two edge guys, the three offensive linemen in the middle will just have coffee in the middle and have no idea what's going on. So we end up taking the field goal there, unfortunately, on a third down and one. So that was a missed opportunity kind of for us. And you saw Haver Bay. He's done for the rest of the game. Though, um, next play, he finds Trent Richardson, who's still playing like a monster. Hangs on after the um, strip there, trying to get the strip button working. And you see me stopping T.Y. Hilton in the backfield there. You saw earlier, he ran the ball at Hayward Bay. And this dude, he invested a lot in his offense. You see T.Y. Hilton beat me in his more natural position, the passing game as a wide receiver. But um, he invested a lot in his offense. He had wide receivers in the backfield running. I'm not sure where the hell you find that. And then this play here, you see his assignment switches me. And um, let me explain that real quick. Because probably a lot of people don't even know what assignment switching means. That is, when you see the play, the way... It was outlined when I'm in man coverage, and if we would have gotten that fumble, that would have been really good. But we'll take the, um, the stop nonetheless, force him to a field goal. But yeah, you saw the man coverage. No one was to the closest guy. The man coverage was all out of sorts. And it wasn't because I picked a really, really bad play or anything. It was just because he assignment switched me. I'm not sure how. It's kind of a glitchy thing. But like some plays, some audibles, some hot route, I don't know what it does. But um, it just like completely destroys man coverage. Like No one will be man up to the guy next to them. And it ends up like destroying the play. Guys will probably get open as we try to run the flea flick here. Get nothing. And that's probably a good overthrow because that might have been intercepted. But um, basically, I'm done with playing man coverage for the rest of this game because we have going to Simon switch me. I'm screwed. And that kind of sucks because the Bengals are one of the best man coverage teams in this game. They got Leon Hall, Terrence Newman, Pac-Man, and um, even like Kirk Patrick and stuff like that. They got like five good cornerbacks on this team. So... Um, that kind of sucks, but still, the zone coverage is still really good because of this Bengals defense. You see me working the ball once again in the red zone. Hopefully, we can capitalize this time, and thankfully, Josh Johnson doesn't put the ball on the ground there. 30 seconds left. Trying to tie this game for a half time. We do get ball half. We keep that in mind, and oh, man, trying to get the first down, and Josh Johnson really tried to stiff arm a guy somehow. Fourth down and one. We go for it, and we almost get taken down the backfield. Shoestring tackle misses, thankfully, and little Gio gets the first down and gets out of bounds. Stop the clock. Next play. Thankfully, that was an interception. Terrible throw back there. And we try to run the ball in, but we cannot. And we're forced to use our last timeout. Look at this beautiful play call in here. Really smart. Fade in the back of the end zone. But the not smart part was the CPU. Like, why would AJ Green stop instead of making an attempt to catch the ball? Like, when you do a fade route, it doesn't work that often. But when it actually does get open, you got to use your catch it. Because I've tried those things a few times, but the CPU just 
will not notice what's going on. They'll screw you out of points, potentially. So, um, we take the field goal there, and... Like I said, we do get ball at halftime. It is one positive thing of the fact that we've had to sell for two field goals is we can still take the lead on this drive right now. It's all good. We did what we had to do. We kept it, you know, a one possession game, less than a one possession game heading into the um, second half here. And we can take the lead on a touchdown. That's all we're focused on right now. And here, uh, little G is still playing like a beast, but one of the offensive linemen played a little bit too much like a beast. Whoever that guy is, bowling, I don't know what the hell that is. Um, thank you for making us lose yards. So now it's first down and 20 here and... I'm still going to run the ball. Still going to run the ball because he's still going to play fag D. So, you know, that's the counter to it. Continue to run the ball. Little Geo. Continue to get five yards of pop here. Third down. Had a pretty good play call here. But 99 gets a great block shed there. And we're forced to go for this fourth down because I don't want to give him the ball back. And plus, you know, I have no respect for a guy that's going to be playing fag D all game. So... There's no reason to play Sim against that. Just like, all right, screw it. I mean, he's, gonna, he's not going to do anything close to Sim. Why should I? So, you know, I went for it and I actually got it. So, it's all good. It's mad. You know, kill me for it. But, um, it's, drive stays alive. We still have a chance to get this touchdown to take the lead. And that's all I'm focused on right now. We're just slowly getting this drive. He's going to give me five yards a gain. I will take five yards a gain. Here, third down and two. Only two people rushing again. Try to throw it in there for Gresham, but cannot. And fourth down, once again, we go for it and we get it again. Second or third time, we throw in that zigger out there to Gresham, and we come back in the quarterback draw because it worked earlier, so we're going to do it again because he's only going to rush those two edge guys. Quarterback draw in the middle, wide open for a good amount of yards, and we run it two times in a row, and you see Josh Johnson has a ton of rushing yards in this game. Little Gio continues to stumble forward. Pretty surprising. Second down and four, trying to pound the rock into the end zone here. Cannot. Third down, going to try it one more time, but Gio puts it on the ground, and we lose the fumble, and number 90 picks it up and is going to try to scoop and score this one for a touchdown absolutely worst case scenario just happened there and um that's just the way it goes for me i don't even have to explain it. you already know i cause a fumble don't get it he causes a fumble he gets it so um i'm just gonna have to deal with the hand dealt to me by madden that usually gets dealt to me and i'm not doing a good job of that so far here trent richardson gets wide open and what happened here was i came out in man coverage but since he um did the assignment switch to me again i tried to switch into a zone and i just switched into some like really bad zone play then I let trent richardson wide open i think it was a cover two and I don't know, it was just a really bad play. It was a stock play I didn't want to run. And we end up giving it the touchdown, and we absolutely have to score a touchdown now, which we haven't done in three quarters of football. Granted, we fumbled the ball once, and granted, um, the fade route got, kind of got moved, like, whatever the hell happened to it. We still haven't scored, point blank. So we got to get this damn touchdown right now, and then hope the defense can come through for us, which, which it hasn't really done much. And we're moving the ball fast here. This drive is going really quick, running three consecutive options, Three, three consecutive handoffs to Gio, because that's what he's giving to me. Next play, Josh Johnson rolling out the pocket and getting in the end zone for a touchdown. A huge touchdown, and also a huge decision by me to not go for the two-point conversion. I decided I don't want to go for it and fail it. Okay, I, I always feel like I fail it in those situations. That's not really a good mindset. That's one I probably should be breaking, but um, nonetheless, we do that, and we're just going to open our defense to make a stop, and... So far, no point, no second out of inches. T.Y. Hillen on the little wheel route there gets a first down, and he's milking the clock, he, which is what he has to do, but he does it a little bit too much, and he gets a delay game penalty. So we'll take those extra five yards. Hopefully that means we can get a stop on this set of downs. Second down and eight, got everything covered up. Three-man pass rush or four. I'm not sure it was three or four, but eventually, Bontez Burfitt comes through. And now it's third down and very long. Andrew Luck pressure coming at him, and he's forced to throw it into coverage. Incomplete pass, and he punts the ball on fourth down and very long. Going to rely on his defense, which is pretty smart because it's been working all game. But we're all geared up now because it's winning time, and let's go, man. It's winning time, and we're going to try to get in this end zone and get the go-ahead touchdown. Geo getting the ball on the screen pass there. Good game. Next play, second down and inches. Throwing it to the flash to Gio. Because Gio is the man right now. Six receptions. Got about like 10 more rushes. Josh Johnson in the pocket here. Rushing one single guy. Looking at we find a wide open Muhammad Sanu downfield at the 25 yard line. We got plenty of time here. The clock is not an issue. And now there's the play call. And the halfback pass works out. Because we don't even pass it. We just get a nice run there. Get an 8 yard gain. Next play throw back to Gio. Who puts it on the ground. And thanks for we get that one back. Or else the game would have been over. Next play running the ball with Geo, and we almost get a first down. Instead, it's fourth down and one. We're going to go for it, obviously. Going to look for somebody in the passing game. Nobody open. Nobody open. Trying to roll out, and we throw an interception on fourth down and one. That's a backbreaker, but we got all over timeouts, so let's try to get a stop here real quick, and that doesn't even happen right away. We give up a humongous ass run to Trent Richardson. I try to shoot the gap, and 
I shot the gap inside when he was running outside, and that's usually not a formula for success. We try to get a big hit here. Do not, and we end up losing this game. Pretty much does it here. We're not going to get any big hits, so um, we lose this game, and you know as much kind of weird stuff happened. That is definitely my fault, and... That sucks, man. If I could, I could redo that situation, I definitely would. I probably would run the ball there. Since, you know, I know he was playing fag. I just gambled that. He would try to rush people, and I passed the ball, find somebody open. And um, sometimes you win those gambles, sometimes you don't. And today, I didn't. So, um, on that note, hope you guys leave a like in the video. Because it was a great game. Subscribe for more games like this. And I will catch you guys next time.